Hello, today we're going to um, make some homemade pie crusts. This recipe I'm going to be using uh, makes two. So, um, if you only want to make one pie, you can always freeze the uh, extra dough so you can make another pie later. But right now, I've taken a bowl and put uh, three cups of flour in it. Now, we're going to take an egg. Crack it open in a separate bowl and beat it slightly. Don't need to get too much, just a little bit there. And then dump it in with the flour. And we're going to take one teaspoon of salt, seven tablespoons of water, and one teaspoon of vinegar. Pour it in there. And I'm going to take, put in one and a fourth cups of um, Crisco here. One cup. Once you got all of that in there, just go ahead and start getting everything mixed up good until it's all nice and doughy. It can be formed into a giant dough ball. Okay, as you can see, those start to get all bally here. So we can go ahead and start molding it into a bowl, ball. Once we got it all balled up. Okay, now that we've got our pie dough all formed, or pie or dough ball all formed, rather, I'm going to go ahead and split it in half. So we don't need all this dough for one pie crust. I'm going to take the other half. We're going to put it on the wax paper with the added flour. And add the second layer of wax paper to it to sandwich it in between, like I mentioned previously. There we go. Alright, sandwich it there. Take your rolling pin and simply start rolling out your dough. You want to make sure it's fairly thin. Um, you don't want your pie crust super thick. Get it nice and thin. Whoop. Okay. Once you have your dough all rolled out, gently remove the top layer of wax paper. And use your 9 inch pie pan. Simply set it on top of the dough like that, and get up underneath it. And flip it. Once you get it flipped over, just gently remove the wax paper. If it tears up the dough a little bit, that's okay. You can use the uh, extra dough out on the edges to fix the dough, the crust a little bit if need be. Which it looks like mine did tear a little bit. Okay. We got so much on the extra sides here though, we can just come in here and fix that. Tear real easily. Peel off any other excess dough around the edges. Throw the scrap that you don't need back in the bowl with the second dough ball. Alright, that's it. One pie crust ready to go. Put whatever filling you want in it. So, hope you like this video. 
If you did, hit like and subscribe to the video. That way you can see any new videos I post and new recipes. See you then.